All right, welcome to our series on logical functions. And this is our first video in that series, and we will cover the if function. Now, the if function takes on three arguments. The first is the logical test itself. The second argument is the value assuming that the test is true. And the last argument would be the output assuming the test is false. Okay, so the best way to understand this is through example. So let's dive right in. Let's start off with the first test. Is 2 equal to 5? We all know that the answer is false, right? But let's walk through the separate arguments and see what the output would be using that function. So if it's true, let's say right. And if it's false, let's say wrong. And so let's construct this function now, this formula. Begin with an equal sign followed by the if. If 2 equals 5, this is our test. Then return right, if it's right. Otherwise, return wrong. And we all know that the result should be wrong. Click Enter, and we see that indeed it is the case. What this function told us was it looked at this test, evaluated it whether it was true or false. If it were true, it returned your f second argument. If it were false, it returned your last argument. Given that 2 does not equal 5, this is false. And so it returned the wrong output. OK, let's try this again. Is 2 less than 5? We all know that the answer is true. Again, let's have the similar return and otherwise return outputs. But this time, rather than write down the words right and wrong, let's reference the cells. What do I mean by that? Let's start here. If, paren, write the test down, which is 2 is less than 5. If that is true, please reference the cell C8. If it is false, please reference the cell D8. Cell C8 is right. Cell D8 states the word wrong. So let's walk through this. If 2 is less than 5, true. Then please return C8. C8. Cell C8 states the word right. So we should expect a result that says right. Click Enter, and there you have it. So the, the purpose of showing this example here, this test, is to let you know that your arguments can reference cells, and the output, assuming the result of the test, should give you whichever cell you reference. OK? OK. I'd like to introduce to you another example. Here's a third test. You'll notice it states, is 1 plus 1 greater or equal to 3? So this is how we specify greater than or equal to. You start with the greater sign followed by the equal. Again, let's be consistent and keep the same results. And so we can set this up the exact same way as we've done the last two times and write if 1 plus 1 greater than or equal to simply is stated as the greater than sign followed by the equal sign 3. If that's right, let's reference cell C9. If it's wrong, reference cell D9. Okay, so 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. That is not greater than or equal to 3. The answer should be cell D9, wrong. There you have it. Okay. So we, we've been working with numbers here as the test, and we've been working with values here, which were the output. What if we flipped it? So the test now says, is cell eight, cell A10 equal to dog? All right, let's take a look here. I've got this hidden in white if we reveal it. Yes, OK. Cell A10 is equal to dog. If that's right, please give me the number one. If that's wrong, give me the number 0. OK, again, you set up the function the exact same way as in the past, equals if a10 is equal to, whenever you use text, make sure you have the parentheses, equal to dog. Then please return 
the number 1, otherwise return the number 0. Alternatively, in this second argument, you could have just referenced the cell C10, and in the third, you could have referenced the cell D10, just as we've done in the last two examples. So, is A10 equal to dog? It sure is, so we should expect the result to be what? 1. There you go. Okay, let's do one last test here. Is cell A10 right here equal not equal to cat? Notice, this might be from new to you. Greater than followed by, less than followed by greater than, this means not equal to. So what this test is saying is, is cell A10 not equal to cat? Well, in fact, that's right, it's not equal to cat. So let's create an if statement. If A10 does not equal to cat, tell you what, if it's not equal to it, can you please add up cells C10 and D10? Otherwise, simply give me a zero. So the point I want to make here is that within each argument, your output could be anything. It could be numbers, it could be text, it could also be mathematical functions. So you can add numbers, multiply numbers. These arguments can be anything you set it to. So let's walk through this. If A10 dog is not equal to cat, correct, then please return C10 plus D10, which is 1 plus 0 equals 1. I should expect, we should expect, that the result should be 1. Great. All right, so as a quick review, I'm going to open up this little cheat sheet here and show you the exact formulas that resulted in these outcomes. Okay, thank you so much. For more info, you can check out our website, www.spreadsheetsolving.com. See you later.